Hi, fabulous friends. Welcome back to the Art Cellar of Houston. My name is Sarah Lowe, and today we're going to be working on jelly printing. Jelly printing sounds kind of intriguing. This is going to utilize this thing. It's like a jelly hmm, square, the best way to describe it. It's made with gelatin is the consistency. So you can see it's kind of wiggly. And we're gonna use it to do some old school printmaking. Now, in your kits that you have, you can get those, those at artsellerhouston.com. Click on shop and you'll see painting kits as the first item. So in your kits that you'll get from artsellerhouston.com, you'll find a couple of creative cutouts that you can get from Stampington and Company. I also highly recommend Somerset Studio. Um, now, none of these companies are sponsoring me for any of this. I just love their products so much. When you look through their pages, you're gonna get a lot of amazing ideas and color combinations for doing printmaking. So, roll up your sea leaves, grab all of your products, maybe put on an apron, because this is gonna get messy, and we'll see you soon. Welcome back. We have everything laid out. Our jelly printing plate is here. Um, I also got a pair of scissors, because we're gonna need those to cut out a couple of the items that we would like. Now, for this month, we chose jelly printing with words of affirmation. And this is a little bit important um, for a lot of people these days. You know, we all need a little something to help us get through the day. And so the idea behind this project was to find words that communicate um, love, appreciation, or just extend kindness towards yourself or another. It doesn't have to be a gift for someone else. It could always be something for yourself. So I've got my sheets of paper that I'm gonna be doing experimenting on. And of course, if you wanna go even smaller, you can totally cut these in half. So I'm gonna actually cut one in half so we can do uh, tinier little cards. And then I'm gonna leave this one hold so I can turn it into a greeting card for a friend. So we'll leave that one hold there. Um, you have in your kits everything you see in the background here. Paints, um, the stamps you, you can use stamps if you would like to. I will say with jelly printing, one thing that I found to be the most effective is layering and taking a break between each layer so it has moments to dry. If you use too much paint with jelly printing, you're gonna find that it's gonna uh, kind of merge into one another, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's not gonna sit one layer on top of another. So thin layers and allow them to dry between each layer. In the background here, you can see I have an example. I'll get this one. Close. So this is one of my favorite pieces that I did a couple of years ago, maybe last year with the children, where I took a couple of pieces of magazine and just kind of put together what I wanted it to be. Queen of heart, be nice or leave. <laughs> That's a big deal for me. <laughs> so um, the hair, and then one of our students um, did this when we were going through COVID. So be art. Um, she said she was trying to do something me basically and uh i guess i was saying a lot you know be art be yourself feel yourself through that process so um these are just two examples i'll move these a little bit closer so you've got your bringer roller in your kit and then i also included a couple of little items that you can play around with with you've got nice little like a netting is here, tissue paper, we've got bubble wrap, and then inside the bubble wrap is actually the jelly printing plate. The stir sticks, I like to use these guys to take the paint and just small amounts onto your jelly printing plate, okay? So that's why they, those guys are all there. When you're starting off, you do want to keep in mind that your printing plate, and I'll put this here so where y'all can see, you want to leave your printing plate flat on the table, okay? The only item you're going to be moving around is the paper itself. So for this one that I'm gonna turn into a greeting card, I'm actually gonna leave it straight and whole, and I'm gonna be printing in different sections and imprinting it onto my jelly plate and then pulling the paper back, just to give you a, a mental visual run through of what we're going to be doing. Now, the um, magazines I mentioned earlier, Somerset Studios, this is great for giving you just random ideas of what to do. Uh, one of my favorite parts about looking through this magazine is you can get vintage items all the way to, you know, new present day 
you know, what can I do to add on to my artwork? And jelly printing is probably one of the easiest things you can do to add to your artwork, give it multiple layers and a little bit more depth. So with that said, let's get started. I'm gonna start a very simple process. So we have our colors here. And since these have a nice little tip, I don't really need the, you know, um, star sticks, right? You can actually just put a little bit, let me move this out of the way, a little bit of paint there and use your brayer roller to roll it out. Like I said, very minimal amount that you wanna put onto your printing plate. Cause when you go to roll it, you'll see it moves around pretty effectively. And a thin coat is really all that you need here. So we've got some here on my brayer. I'm gonna use that to roll out here. You can always use it to roll on your actual paper if you'd like as a good background effect. Um, I have this second braille roller here. This is a sponge roller and you are welcome to use this as well. This gives you a better texture or a, a, a nice um, spongy feel to it. So depending on how much of a texture person you are, just keep that in mind that you're welcome to use either one of those rollers, the one we send you or you can get one a different one. Now this purple that I have is a little bit more watery than the orange. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever mixed purple and orange together, but gracious, that is such a, a beautiful color combination. And when they mix together, they look really good. So I've got my colors here onto my, my jelly plate. I'm gonna take a little bit of tissue paper that you've got here, and I'm gonna rip it into shreds. Okay, just random shreds that I'm gonna put over my with the jelly printing plate, right? Okay, cover that up. And then I'm going to take, make sure it stays down. Then I'm gonna take my paper that I have here, see how I did the roller earlier? And I am going to lay it flat on top, rub it in really well. So this is the part where that I like to just spend a little time and a little patience rubbing, pushing into my creation. And then we're gonna lift up and have part one. Now we can lift up these beauties here. Look how adorable this is. I mean, these are ones that you could actually glue onto the back piece right here in different directions and do the opposite. You can wipe off your jelly plate or you can actually do another layer of love. So I'm gonna push those off to the side and let's say I wanna do my little guy next. So what if I took white? Hold on. Ooh, let's see how this looks. We've got white that's not quite shaken up. <laughs> I like this clear, creepy gel look. That looks cool. Yes, wow. Very different. And then now a little bit of green. I'm gonna roll that in. And you'll see here, you can see a nice runny texture. I'm gonna do some of this here. You can, you've got a nice runny texture. If I use this guy, it'll give it more bumpy texture, right? So before it was very neat and clean and now um, it's got a nice kind of like a little bubbly look, which I'm a big fan of. Like I said before, I love texture. It is probably one of my favorite things to, um, adding art. Now, if I add this guy, what happens? Shake this up really quick. Make sure you shake all of your stuff up before you, you start using it. There we go. Now we've got this titanium white that we're gonna mix in. It's so wild and creepy looking. Love it. And I'm gonna do this one now. There we go. Now we're getting it to come in. So I'm going to push this down and then roll a little bit on top and you can see this nice beehive look on your creation, which looks, looks absolutely gorgeous to me. Um, I'm enjoying this a lot. So I'm going to take my paper and put it right in the center. So it's overlapping now what we did before. I'm just going to push it down. 
and rub it in and pull it up. And you can see multiple layers starting to occur there. This is about the time that you can take a break and check out your words of affirmation. Um, Stampington and Company, I have Be an Original Artist, Imagination, Embark, Visionary, Passion Project, Idealist, all these wonderful Elevate, Innovate. This is my happy place right there. <laughs> Thank you, Stampington and Company. I have definitely found the phrase that I'm going to be cutting out. So. This is my happy place, enjoy the journey. These are my two favorite phrases right now. So I'm gonna cut these out, add them to my creation and keep going. done with your jelly printing portion of your project, then you can add additional things, right? You can add on, if you'd like magazine pictures, you can add on things, objects, you know, uh, places, different things that remind you of the person or that make bring you to your happy place, basically. Um, for me, I'm a big flower person, so I would use a stamp um, instead of cutting out just because I like stamps and I want to use stamps. There's no real reason behind that. But I think, you know, my, my card here says, follow your heart and enjoy the journey. So great for me to add a couple little stamps along the way here. And then maybe some other things here, something that I would manually draw or paint on this side. Because remember, this side's going to be folded in. Or maybe I can do this on the outside and write a whole message on the inside. I like that idea. We're going to do that. So I'll fold it the opposite way. Sometimes my projects come along in a different way. Ah, gosh, I love that so much. So the inside I can do in a completely different way. It's white. Um, so let me get started on that. one piece here follow your rainbow kind of hard to see the words up here so what I might do later on is take a paintbrush a really tiny paintbrush and fill that stamp in so you can actually see it a little brighter and then for my card you can see here I put my little stamps at the bottom I've got my printing on top and then I've got some flowers along the bottom for me personally, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to paint a couple other items in here. A sweet message for my friend who is studying for a financial exam, the financial planner exam, certified financial planner. So this card is going to go to her so she can get a little inspiration before her test next week. I'm very excited about this. So uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this mini lesson on jelly printing. And the key whenever you're done with all of this stuff just warm water and a little bit of soap. You don't need a lot of any type of cleaning product specifically. Um, most of the time I just use warm water, but you're finding the paint is having a little trouble coming off. A little Blue Dawn dish soap really gets it out. The other things with the stamps, definitely try to clean these um, after use. We have a lot of children who use them and then let the paint stain or stay on top of them. So if you don't want your stamps to look like this, <laughs> And definitely clean them off after each use. Uh, for me, I, you can use these strips again over and over and over, um, or you can toss them. It's up to you however you would like to use them. But pretty much that is it. The brayer is the same way. Remember to just use a little warm water and soap, and that comes off super easy. So thank you, my friends, for joining me today. My name is Sarah Lowe. I'm with the Art Cellar of Houston. And as always, you can find our painting kits at our, on our website, excuse me, not at our website, on our website, artcellarhouston.com. 
and then go to the menu bar and click on shops. You'll see our painting kits is the first item there. A big, huge shout out to Somerset Studios and also to Stampington and Company. Check out both of these businesses. They are also small business owners and they deserve all of your love and support through these years. See you soon. Art is happiness and make it your own.